Cause your license needs saving Do the wise thing Call Wise Man Lawyers Does your license need saving Do the wise thing Call Wise Man Lawyers Don't face that court alone Let the wise man team Get you back on the road Does your license need saving Do the wise thing Call the wise man team At Wise Man Lawyers All right, today I was at Brisbane Magistrates Court. Client was charged with high range drink driving. It was very high range, reading a point two nine five. So that's obviously massive. Uh, further complicating the matter was the fact that this is his second high range. He'd previously been charged with point two three eight. Fortunately, that was uh, seven years ago, uh, back in two thousand ten. But still, if there's a pattern of high range drink driving, it complicates things. Uh, Worst case uh, for lifetime, sorry, high range drink driving is a lifetime loss of license. Mandatory minimum is six months, but uh, you're never going to get anywhere near the minimum for a reading of that nature. Uh, but given that he had previous uh, uh, two, this was his second very high reading, um, as much as my job was one of getting the disqualification down to a reasonable uh, duration, it was primarily about keeping him out of jail. Uh, the magistrates have got a few options available to them when they get repeat high range drink drivers uh, presenting themselves. Obviously they can send them to jail, uh, failing well, one step shy of that, they could give a what's called a suspended jail sentence, so you don't actually go to jail but it hangs over your head for a period. Or they can give uh, what's called an intensive correction order which is basically, it's a term of imprisonment that served within the community by way of a regimented sort of uh, reporting regime to the Probation and Parole Board. There's also the option of immediate parole, which means technically you've gone to jail, uh, but the day of court is your first release date. So on your record, you've gone to jail, you've got a previous jail sentence, but parole starts on the day of court. So in other words, hypothetically, if you get six months jail with immediate parole, uh, you don't actually set foot in a jail cell, but for the next six months, you're on parole as if you've just been released from prison. Uh, another option is probation, which in itself isn't a penalty. The magistrates can't hand down probation unless the client consents to it. So it's more of a uh, supervisory order rather than a penalty. But what that uh, basically means is uh, throughout the duration of the probation order, uh, the person must report to the probation uh, office, undergo any uh, psychological or alcohol-related uh, uh, you know, educational testing or counselling that's deemed appropriate, uh, and there's a whole host of other uh, generic conditions to go with it. Uh, but basically, if you got two very high range readings, you're going to be looking at one of those options. Uh, I made quite forceful submissions to the magistrate about my client's uh, uh, situation. No, I don't want to go into too much detail, but the underlying issues and the steps that he's taken. Uh, since the day in question to get on top of them. Uh, spoke about the difficulties that he'll suffer uh, while he's off the road and uh, obviously I made forceful submissions about why a term of imprisonment uh, shouldn't be handed down. Those submissions were primarily in documentary form but they were prepared beforehand. Uh, the short version is uh, I was able to persuade the magistrate that an order of probation was appropriate. As I said, the magistrate can't do that unless the client consents. Uh, obviously, my client did consent because if you don't consent, the next uh, all the magistrate can do is step it up to jail uh, in some form. So my client consented. My client was given six months probation, uh, as I said, which means for six months he needs to he's under the supervision of the probation board, and they'll do what they can to try and get his uh, alcohol issues in order. Uh, and with regard to disqualification, as I said, the worst case was a lifetime loss of license, but because he was a retiree, uh, there's no income that was going to be deprived with a disqualification so um, obviously my ability to uh, emphasize the hardship was a lot less than if he was employed and had a job to lose but anyway the short version is he got a uh, 15 month driver's license disqualification so uh, given what very well could have happened if he was uh, inad inadequately or not represented at all uh, my client's very happy uh, he'll be back on the road uh, in 15 months' time, and uh, as long as he behaves himself over the next six months, he won't breach his probation order. Again, clients relieved. I'm Andrew Wiseman. Thanks for watching. 
Does your license need saving? Do the wise thing. Call wise man lawyers. Does your license need saving? Do the wise thing. Call the wise.